Apollo Control, Houston, uh, 138 hours, uh, one minute into the flight. As you heard earlier, Joe Kerwin uh, told Apollo 13 that they could uh, separate at their convenience. SFSEP, copy that. We copied that report uh, from Jim Lovell of service module separation at uh, 138 hours, uh, two minutes, eight seconds. Here, be it, Jack. And there's one whole side of that big business. Uh, Is that right? Right by the, uh, look out there, will you? Right by the high gate antenna, the whole panel is blown out, almost from the uh, base to the uh, engine. Copy that. Yeah, it looks like it got to the uh, SCS bell, too, Houston. The way it looks, unless that's uh, just dark brown streak. Really a the spacecraft is a lifting body because the, the the center of gravity is not right in the center. It's offset. Hmm. It's offset so that as it comes in, there's a, there's a lift vector here. And if it's coming in and it is uh, uh, too long, it wants to land here, but it's going there. It rotates 180 degrees. Hmm. And the computer does that, and the lift vector is down here, so it pulls it down this way. And then, if you're too far to the uh, to the right, then it just goes halfway and it goes over that way. So that's the way the computer actuates your landing sequence. Uh, as long as you are are properly, uh, it has the proper information on it with respect to your position and relative to the celestial sphere. Apollo Control, Houston, uh, 141 hours, eight minutes uh, now into the flight. Apollo 13, presently 14,468 nautical miles out from Earth. All three crewmen now in the command module uh, preparing to install the hatch. We show uh, 32 minutes, 40 seconds away from scheduled time of uh, lunar module jettison. This is Apollo Control, Houston. Okay, uh, Houston, do we have a go for power arm? Uh, Odyssey Houston, uh, we can give you a go if you'll put the logic uh, on momentarily for us. Okay, the sex logic is on. Okay, just copy that and uh, you are go for fire alarm. Left jettison. Okay, copy that. Farewell Aquarius, we okay, thank you. Uh, to land on the, on the Earth, we had to go inside a two degree pie shaped wedge with respect to the uh, atmosphere. No less than uh, three degrees, no greater than five degrees to come in this direction. If we came in too shallow, we'd skip out on the atmosphere and we're gone. If we came in too steep, the sudden deceleration would make us a fiery meteor for a few brief seconds and then we're gone. So, so, and so controlling that was one of the first things I'll be in. We've had a report that a RIA 4 aircraft uh, has acquisition of signal. Odyssey Houston standing by, over. Okay, we read you, Jack. That was uh, Jim Lovell responding with the OK Joe. Correction there, that was command module pilot Jack Swagger. We're looking at the weather on TV and it looks just as advertised, real good. Standing by for confirmation of uh, main shoots. Uh, 
question at this time. The uh, French troops are displaced or in the water. But uh, on the flight out, the explosion occurred at the one time that recovery was possible. I could have been killed very easily on Apollo 13. Uh, things happen, and uh, I got through it. So I, I, I don't worry about anything.